networking, whether it be computers, and all the extracurricular activities, on average, two periods a day. Every child, it's compulsory, should learn swimming, taekwondo, judo, martial arts, for the boys, football, etc. And the balance 10 periods, five periods are in English and five in Arabic. Our school has a dual minimum instruction, English and Arabic. Arabic is the language of the Quran. It's the language in which the last and final revelation was revealed. We realize, I realize the drawback, that because our parents did not think it important that we should learn Arabic as a language, we know it's a drawback, even today. So we want to see to it that our children, our next generation, they should know Arabic as the mother tongue. So five periods are in Arabic, five are in English. But naturally, the five periods that are then Arabic, they're Islamic, whether it be Arabic language, whether it be Hivs, whether it be Talawat, whether it be Hadith, whether it be Quran, Tafsir, and all the Islamic studies that we have, when we give the Tafsir of the Quran, it's not in English or Urdu. Like back home in India, Pakistan, we have the Islamic studies in Urdu. In the Western countries, we either have in Urdu or we have in English. There, we have in Arabic, Arabic to Arabic. So the child, from the age of three, when he joins nursery school, he starts learning Arabic. When we teach him A for Allah, B for Bismillah, along with that, Min Alif Asadun, Min Ba Baitun, Min Ta Tufahun. So from the age of three, the child is ingrained with the Arabic language. And in the Arabic period, the children cannot speak English, they should only speak Arabic. In the English period, only English, no Arabic. And most of Arabic teachers, they, are, they have gone to Saudi Arabia, and they have graduated from the Islamic University of Medina, so that even the pronunciation is correct. Besides the Arabic period that is there, the five periods in English, one period every day is Islamic studies in English. That's for Dawah. Because the child, when he does Dawah with the non-Muslim, it will be in English, he can't do in Arabic. There are very few Arab non-Muslims. So one period is Islamic studies in English. The balance four periods on average is maths, English, geography, history, science, etc. And though the period, if you analyze that five periods in English, is very less. But we have been able to achieve this because the ratio of our teacher to student is very low. In Bombay, on average, on average, in Bombay, one school has got 50 students, the good schools. Each class, sorry, each class has 50 students. Some have got 60, some have got 70, some have got 80. The good schools have got 50, very few schools have less than 50. And for every two classes, there are average three students, uh, three teachers. That means each teacher, the ratio of teacher and student is about 30 to 35. Every 30 to 35 students have got one teacher in Bombay and in India. If you go in the villages, it is much higher. Every one teacher has got 50 students on average. And the international standard says that it should be 1 to 20. The good private schools in UK, USA, they have every teacher has got 10 students on average. The good private schools. We in Bombay, we have every five students, one teacher. Each class has got 20 students. On average, some have got 18, some have got 19. But at times, for example, when there are classes of hivs, so in that class of 20 students, there will be five kakurras coming in, karis. So each batch will have about four students. So when we have certain classes, it breaks up so that the hivs is better. The concentration is better, so the child can run, learn faster. In our school, his is compulsory till standard three. Till standard three, the child in nursery junior KG, he starts the Asanul Quran. He does the Nazar of the Quran in senior KG. Starts doing his in senior KG. On average, senior KG, he memorizes half Jews. First, second, and third, every year, one and a half Jews. So by the time the child complete standard three, he memorizes at least five Jews. Some may memorize six, some seven, some may even do four. 
After that, his is optional. Those people who feel I have got a good memory, we select them, maybe 25%, one fourth to one third of the student, and we call them one hour, 15 minutes earlier. So instead of coming at 8 o'clock in the morning, from 4th standard, they come at cow to 7. Now, when the HIVS classes in the morning is conducted after 3rd standard, for one student, I mean for one Kari, there are two students maximum. So the ratio of the Kari and the students in the higher classes is reduced. One Kari, one student, or one Kari, two students maximum. And only because he comes one hour early in the morning, one hour 15 minutes, does his for one hour 10 minutes, in a year, on an average, that child memorizes five Jews. So by the time he completes the next five years, at the end of eight standard, he memorizes the complete Quran. So, so far, mashallah, we are in the sixth standard. In the fifth standard, according to our normal course, the child should memorize 15 Jews. But many students, mashallah, have, at the end of fifth standard, have memorized 18 Jews, some 19, some even 20. So my son, who's now in the sixth, he's hardly 12 years old, mashallah, he knows more Quran than me. He knows 20 Jews. I don't know that much. I'm not Hafizul Quran. His Qur'an is better than mine. He can understand Arabic better than me. He can understand the Qur'an directly. I can't. So we want every child in our school should be better than what I was when I was in school. And inshallah, minimum, minimum, every child in our school, minimum, is 100 times better than what I was when I was a child. We want every child in the school should be multiple times like me. I am not the target. I am not the aim. I am not the sample. We want them to be multiple times better. So what we could not get in our childhood. And with Allah's help, Alhamdulillah, whatever we achieved, we feel that if we educate our children in the right way, right from the childhood, inshallah, inshallah, you will find a change in the next generation. We always had a target that if we have to change the society, we do projects in the short term. We have short term dawa courses in our foundation, Islam Research Foundation, which is a crash course for 40 days, where we train students from different parts of the world. We have international dawa training program for 40 days, where we select the best people, one from UK, one from USA, from um, Singapore, Malaysia, Saudi Arabia, etc., and we give them a comprehensive training course. But this schooling of 13 years is a full-fledged dawa training program, according to me. And in our school, mashallah, we see to it that when they are trained, not only do they learn about Quran and Islam, they have been told about Christianity, about Judaism, about Hinduism, about Buddhism. Inshallah, when a child passes school, he will be far superior than an average Christian, what he has knowledge about Christianity, what the average Hindu has knowledge about Hinduism, what the average Jew has knowledge about Judaism. <laughs> the main aim of the school is to make dies and see to it that they follow the commandments of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So in our school, mashallah, though main two languages are Arabic, main is English and Arabic, we also start Urdu from the standard uh, five, sorry, four standard. Third standard is Hindi, fourth is Urdu, and fifth is the local language of the state, that is Marathi. We will teach them minimum. We don't want to make them scholars in Sanskrit and Hebrew, but what is required for Dawa purpose, that much Hebrew they should know. What is required for Dawa purpose for Sanskrit, we'll teach them, inshallah. That will come later on in the seventh, eighth standard, inshallah. So the child, they have a mission in life. They're taught, and these children, mashallah, they're trained in a way that they know the values of life. And we find that many a time, mashallah, these children, they put us to shame. They put us to shame. And many a time when we go out, and the children, mashallah, they masoom. And that reminds me that once I had gone to meet a very big businessman, a top businessman in Bombay, very big businessman.